This was a short experiment on the Canon RF lenses um, to see if you could weather seal the non-L, non-weather sealed lens. The short answer is no, it's a failure. You can't get the weather stripping to fit on at least the, uh, the official parts. Um, so briefly, just if anyone else is thinking of trying it, uh, the idea here is that, so if you look at, for example, the kit lens that comes with the Canon R7, um, there's no strip here. So if you look at the, the weather sealed lenses, they'll have a rubber seal strip. Um, let's see if you can see, okay, right there. Right, see this piece of rubber? Um, and that rubber gives you a seal with the camera body. Um, so obviously the lens sealing includes more than just that, right? There's all these other points of ingress that are sealed. Um, so if you take a look at, for example, the kit lens, what you'll see is that, you know, there's a lot of points that are not sealed in, right? There's all these points coming in. Um, critically, for example, this gets, if you're out in the rain, this gets rained on and then gets sucked into the lens. Um, there's kind of a felty fabric here that gets wet when that happens. But the question is, you know, could you at least make it because some of these lenses are cheaper than the camera body that you're not worried about water getting in this interface here. Um, and to try that out, what I did is I bought the weather stripping piece. So this is the part number um, of the weather stripping that's on these. And basically the question is, can I fit it onto this lens? Um, and without some additional modifications, it's not gonna be possible. And first I'll show you on the kit lens, the problem. So this lens has kind of a plastic mount. So this is one of the cheaper lenses that you can get. And I'll just take these screws off so you can see the mount here. four screws here um, and basically we have a back mounting bracket or this this mount is what you know goes on to the camera itself let's remove the screws what you'll see is that so the problem is on this lens and you have to watch there's a there's a cable here Right, so there's your electrical contacts. Isn't that teardown video? So just quickly though, you can see all the, the electronics in here. So this is image stabilization. So there's additional sensors in the lens um, that talk back to the camera body. But um, yeah, so the problem here is that we need the ceiling to go in there and there's no gap here. So, so this actually won't work. You could seal on the outside. So I think the only way would be to have a silicone band here, there's actually kind of a good spot for that. Um, put that aside. So that's not going to be possible. Even so, a more promising one is like this um, 24 millimeter. This is also not weather sealed. Um, this one also isn't going to do very well weather sealing because it has an external focus. So as you focus the front, um, I don't want to pull it out, but you know, this moves out in and out, so you're gonna have a similar thing to that zoom. But notice that you've got this metal back plate, so it looks a little closer to, right, how the L lenses have that metal back plate. Uh, sorry, this is a real lazy video because I'm using my phone because my camera's occupied, being disassembled. Um, and I was more hopeful with this one being possible right, because we have that nice metal plate, and I'll show you how this almost works, but not quite. Um, and maybe there's a level of modification that could make it work, but I'm not sure I'm that committed yet. Because, oops, come on. You do have a So then this thing, again, we got to watch where the, the connectors are because we expect a cable behind that. Right, so we do have a nice metal back plate. Um, and this guy's got a real short cable there. So you want to be really careful. Um, 
So the hope is that this rubber ring is going to fit. Right? And so if you take a look at this rubber ring, um, it actually it will go like that. Right, so if you look at the lens, it kind of will split out. And on the inside here, there's kind of a little groove. Um, and so in theory, what's going to happen is that groove is going to fit around. And the basic problem that you're going to uh, see pretty quickly is that this rubber is actually thicker than I imagined. Um, which means that if I get it around, it does fit around really nicely here. Um, but oops, it's flipping upside down on me. You know, if I if I get it to fit, and it will fit around, as I said, um, it's going to end up being that the uh, the interference is too you know it's too tight of a fit. It's not going to fit down, and then your um, lens is going to be all messed up in terms of the the distance and stuff like that on the mount. Um, and obviously you probably don't want to really crank it down to, uh, to try to force it in. So I think you'd almost have to machine this plate to be a tiny bit thinner, um, which is where I say, you know, there's a level of effort that I think is not worth it to, to try to get this thing to be weather sealed magically. Um, so yeah, so if you machine the mount down, maybe it would work, but... I'm not sure. And of course the mounts are all a little different because they depend on this, this back optics. Okay. So if you look, for example, at the backside of um, these two different lenses, you can see right there, it's obviously different to accommodate the different optics. Um, so I don't know if you just swap the backs easily, like you'd have to figure out how to get um, some of this because this plastic molded part Right, looks like like the metal might be standard, but the plastic molded part is different, but then they don't seem to, you know, it's not just easily connected as far as I can tell. Um, there's some screws here and stuff. So so maybe there's a way to, to swap them out, uh, but you've got to do more, you know. What I was hoping was that all you had to do was get this rubber seal. Um, but, so you can see here, Right, it's it won't uh, fit down, and, and obviously the seal's not fully on here. Uh, but this is the problem you're going to run into. So, so there you go. So it's not so easy to try to add a rubber seal to a non-L lens as just buying the the L seal. So, so no luck there. Um, probably what you want to do is right deal with the fact that when the lens is on here, you actually have sort of a nice mounting surface. And you could put a silicon band um, around the, the gap if you really wanted to, to try to block it off, which is probably what I'll end up doing if I want to use these non-L lenses in less than ideal weather um, and I'm worried about water getting in here.